Welcome everyone! I have recently leveled up my second character in Mists of Pandaria Remix to level 70, and it took me around 6 hours and 49 minutes. But then, I saw a post where someone leveled to 50 in about an hour or 2 hours. The article says that the best way to level an ult is through random heroic dungeons, so I decided to test it out. I will make 3 new characters, all the same classes, same talents, everything. One will level only through dungeons, one will level only through scenarios, and the other will level through quests. I will start the timer whenever the first dungeon or scenario starts, or when I kill the first quest mob required for the quest. All characters will be leveled only for 30 minutes, and all characters will be only as their DPS spec, so we all have a good comparison. With the explanation out of the way, let us begin. The, these are the stats of my infinite cloak when I started leveling. I decided to play arms warrior because I made a warrior, but I made fury, never played arms and I wanted to learn the spells and the rotation of arms. I will try to level one of these characters to level 70. So before you even start, you have to complete the first quest, the one that shows you the cinematic of what happened in Mists of Pandaria. After that, you can start grinding dungeons, so let us set up the timer and let's get to it. While farming the dungeons, the queue wasn't long. It took me around 1-2 to two minutes to find a group, and the dungeons didn't take a long time to finish either, since the scaling is a bit weird and I did a lot of damage. During the 30 minutes I leveled, I queued into 4 dungeons and got to level 22, only missing a bit of XP to get to level 23. I should also mention that I did the quests inside the dungeons. I thought it wouldn't be against the rules since it's only once per character and some dungeons didn't even offer the option to start the quests. So by this method, I gained 12 levels, almost 13, which means that each dungeon grants you 3 to 3.25 levels, which is pretty quick. The next leveling I did was through heroic scenarios. The queues weren't long, however, there was another problem I did not think about when starting this experiment. During your early levels, the only heroic scenario you can queue up is the Brewing Storm one, which is pretty boring. So for the 30 minutes I only did the one scenario over and over. Clearing the scenario took longer than clearing the dungeon, mostly around 8 minutes. During the 30 minutes I leveled, I queued into 3 scenarios and got to level 18. So by this method, I gained 8 levels, which means that each scenario granted me around 2.6 levels. Based on this data, we can see that it's better to do dungeons, at least from the beginning. Maybe when you get to a higher level and you get access to more heroic scenarios, this might get better, but I do not recommend this method to start leveling your new character. And the last method I chose is the original and intended way of leveling. Through quests. I started the timer as soon as I hit the first quest mob. Leveling through questing was way more relaxing, you get to travel through a zone, complete multiple achievements like exploring, completing the campaign and killing rares in the zone, which I did not do because I wanted to level only through questing. You do not have to wait for the queues and there is constant action. However, I found something very annoying while leveling. In the 27 minute of leveling, I got stuck in combat and couldn't get out of it. Then after doing the quests, again, I got stuck in combat. I tried to do slash reload, but it didn't work. I then used my hearthstone, which stopped me from being stuck in combat. So I started doing quests again in the starting village for the alliance, and after a short while, I got stuck in combat again. But this time, I did not have the hearthstone toy on cooldown, so I had to walk back to the village. This was very frustrating and ruined the experience of leveling through questing a lot, since while in combat you cannot mount up, which saves you a lot of time getting from one place to another. But I persisted and ended on the 30 minute mark. During the 30 minutes I leveled, I got to level 19. It seemed like 3 quest completions equal to 1 level. So during this time I earned 9 levels, which is slightly better than through farming scenarios. 
And there you have it. It seems like random heroic dungeons really is the best way of leveling up, however, even better is combining questing plus random heroic dungeons, since while waiting for your dungeon group, you can complete a few quests in the meantime for bonus XP. The dungeon quests also help out a lot. And when you reach level 25, you should do Mogushan Vaults raid on normal every day, since you get plus 72 percent bonus XP for your cloak for the whole clear. Thank you so much for watching the video, hope that this one helped you to choose the faster and avoid the slower leveling path to max level. Like the video if you liked it and I wouldn't mind if you pressed the subscribe button as well, but it's all up to you in the end. See you all in Pandaria, bye!